Teddy, we're here. It's happening. Oh, hello. Right away. Oh, I know these earrings. I know these earrings. Who, who? Well, it's Akira, clearly. Oh, it's gonna frustrate me so much until I remember what this is. Oh, damn it. Well, she's awesome. And I think I see a Transformer right here. Is this a Transformer? Uh, I, th I think it's like a Transformer, but it's not actually a Transformer. I think it's a transforming robot. <laughs> right, there's an oldish looking doll here. I don't think this is Barbie. This certainly looks, I'm gonna look at this culture. This, that looks funny. This looks like a knockoff. Yeah, it's not real. But this swimsuit looks like it's like, um, what is it, Sun Sensations? I think Kira? It looks like Sun Sensation Kira's swimsuit. <laughs> There's a Candylicious. God, I find Candylicious more often than like any other doll, I swear. I don't know what just fell. What earth is she wearing? Oh my god. Girl, you're a mess. Yeah, I saw another that looked like old Barbie face. Oh yeah, look. Oh, it's another Kira. Oh, this is, um, this is Sun Sensations Kira, because she's got the purple and gold eyeshadow. So, like, this other doll, where'd she go? This one? That might actually be her swimsuit, if these were, like, donated by the same kid. Because I have this Kira. I have Sun Sensations Kira. This is that doll, and that's her swimsuit, so. That's kind of funny. Mm, ponies. What should I supposed to look like that? <laughs> oh, this is a. Uh... Oh, stuff keeps falling out. Anyway, this is a transformer. I, it's probably a rescue bot. It's got a little auto bot logo on it. Bag of horse. Ooh. Is this real? over the eyes. No, that's not real. It's cute though. Cute fakie. Is that one real? No, that one's not real. Sunny is real, of course, but... Oh, there's a little Viper in there. That's cute. Ugh. Hi, Tubby. You're over here. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel insane right now. Okay. <laughs> she, she got any clothes on? She's got Candylicious's tights on. <laughs> I found another Candylicious over there. Um, and there's some ponies uh, in there for you. bag of ponies. And then there's also, um, Frightmare is what they're called. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. Monster High thing. Yeah, they were like, like a G3 between. Monster High, or a G2. Yeah, in between, it was like in between. Okay. That's cool. She's pretty, I don't know who she is. She's wearing like a little nightgown though. Some cute. kind of Barbara. <gasps> it's a Barbie nightgown. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I think this is the one I don't have. She's a really cute Barbie. Is that glitter supposed to come on her? Probably not. Focus. You got to be so gagged. Okay, why am I going to be gagged? What is it? <gasps> <gasps> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Uh, she's, I wonder, she doesn't have her, doesn't look like she has her top on underneath no. there. And her neck is broken, but it doesn't look like it's disconnected. So that's yeah. nice. Her hair looks good. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So this is, you know, for the video, this is working out Barbie. Working out Barbie. I have working out Christy in new in box at home, so she's that's awesome. <laughs> uh, it's like a Disney Mary Poppins. Aww, song. how pretty. Oh, oh, oh Sunny! Uh, it's another cheer, Sunny! I was trying to take but I am not as educated as you, so I'm just like picking up cars, like, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's usually just what I do. I found a couple over here, but no one that I recognize or even from a universe that I'm familiar with. I found one that I'm pretty sure is like a, a rescue bot, but that's about it. Ooh, <laughs> there's another Ben 10 in here. <laughs> I don't know what this one is though. I just, it's got the Omnitrix logo on it. This guy looks familiar. Yeah. I'm not gonna pick this one up because I don't recognize the alien. I'm not just gonna randomly pick stuff up if I don't recognize it. Go for it. Eh. 
A big balance bird. Ouch. <gasps> it is a big balance bird. Hell yeah. Squeak. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It's like, uh, I couldn't tell you much about it, but look, it's one of those, like, precursor rainbow high poopsie dolls. I, like, never see these. Oh, there's another... Oh, these are both Transformers. Again, I think they're rescue bots, yeah. I don't remember that one's name. I only watched a little bit of rescue bots. Oh. That's a cute little horse. Bag of horse. Okay, we're at uh, we're at the other thrift store, the little one, the local one. We finished up in that one. Nice, uh, you know, Barbie styling head. Very fun. Oh! I caught it. It's fine. Barbie sitting in this Barbie car in an Elsa dress. She's just living her best life. Who is she? Scary. <gasps> Tebby! A monster high. It's Calamari? No. No? No, it's Jane Belittle. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, isn't that the one you're always talking about? Well, I have one of them. This is the first one. Oh, how cool. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it's a big Fluttershy. Big horse. Oh, God. Hello, I'm Fluttershy. <laughs> hey, look, a strawberry. There's like, there's a big Twilight. Oh, God, I'm dropping stuff. Big city Pinkie Pie. Nothing else in the doll pile? No. Just one lone Jane. Yeah. It's so funny. We keep finding just like one Monster High doll. It's one like, G1. I'm like, can I ask? I'm like, do you have like more of these in the back? Do you just have them hidden? This is. Did you see the funny bah. Generation Soul. I did see the funny Spinosaurus. Oh, I like him. Teeth. They're human teeth. Human teeth. Human <laughs> teeth. Henry, human teeth. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, oh look, yeah. Look at it. Oh, it looks like she's supposed to have hair plugs, but this is from the Rapunzel show. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. That no, if only there was a cast here. That reminds me, I have a TikTok. I'll show you later. This cute cabbage patch. <laughs> that one's kind of cute, actually. I'm very happy. Yeah. Where was she? Just hanging on the back? Yeah, she was just hanging, like, kind of off of the back of that shelf, like, yeah. where the plushies usually are. Okay. Ooh. Goji! Oh, wait, this one looks awesome. It's a Jack's, Jack-specific one. Oh, he's really cool. He, they gotta mark it like 15 bucks though I'm like I know I can actually find these maybe not one this size but I know I can find some of the smaller goji toys like for sale on at Target like brand new for less than that what's happening party people it's Cisco here don't go away because I found so much more stuff at the thrift store like way more than I recorded because I kind of stopped recording just wanted to enjoy it I found so much cool stuff oh my god also sorry if it's a little backlit we got home kind of late and it's storming outside so there's not enough natural light for me to film which is what i normally try to do because it looks better anyway let's get into it shall we i'll start off with the things that i i think i showed in the video i can't really remember i was very tired today oh we're gonna start with the one that i i really don't even i i, I don't know can't identify okay so i got this barb nice little barbara she's very cute very kind of standard superstar face uh, most likely early 90s, mid 90s. Couldn't figure out exactly who she is. She's got just like sort of some like nice little like pinky uh, like circular like earrings and a matching ring. Um, couldn't figure out. She's got a very normal face, just sort of like the light eyeshadow, whatever. 
Um, but I mostly got her because she was a cute doll. Her hair looked fine, just needs to be cleaned. And she's wearing this little Barbie like wedding dress nightgown. And I love this kind of thing. I don't like it when a lot of other doll brands do it, but I love it when Barbie puts Barbie on Barbie clothes. Anyway, next, very exciting for me, super glad I found her, or Teddy found her actually, we have working out Barbie. And she is missing her top. She's just wearing this funny little fuzzy one for some reason. Um, but she's great. Her hair is honestly amazing. She's just missing her hair tie. Um, she's got her earrings and she has her, she has the bottom. This is the bottom of her outfit. She had this crazy pattern and the funny little like tights attached to it and then little socks and her little shoes that have these stupid little suction cups on it. Because if you've never seen it, the gimmick for this doll is that you're supposed to stick her onto something and then she can like work out, you know, working out Barbie. I have working out Christy new in box. So I eventually was planning on unboxing that doll. And I think now that I have the matching like Malibu, I think I'm going to try to get Malibu's like top, the top for her outfit. And then I can unbox the Christy and display them together. Super exciting. This is one that I don't think I filmed. I definitely didn't film, I'm pretty sure. But we found this doll. And obviously, if you know your stuff, this is pretty apparent. This is a Barbie of the world. And this is the Princess of Imperial Russia. Ooh, she's very cool. I, I believe she's complete. She's even got her, she's got these really cute little like tall red boots on under here. She's very pretty. And a fun little fact I, that I know, uh, the this headdress that she's wearing is like kind of a traditional Russian headdress. It can come in a variety of styles and it's called a kokoshnik. Now I know I showed this in the video. This was probably one of the first things that I saw when I walked up. Um, I'm very excited about it. We found her and this is Tropical Splash Kira from 1994 and she is complete and she's in great condition. Can I help you? Ozzy say meow. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I've only found one other like intact Kira doll, but if this continues to be a trend, I'm totally fine with that. She's in beautiful condition. She she's not even dirty. Her hair is perfect. Like it, this I couldn't ask for a better find. Uh, I found this Beanie Baby dragon. Uh, this His name is Scorch. He's like just this little green dragon. I, I mostly picked him up because um, Magic is my favorite Beanie Baby. That's the same dragon, but she's all white. And this one is green. So it's like now I have one that is like, this is Teddy and Magic is me. <laughs> all right, and then on to something that I didn't film. I don't think I filmed, can't remember. But if I didn't, I wish I did because it was so cool to see it. So at the thrift store, after I think I stopped filming, I found this whole collection of G.I. Joes and some not G.I. Joes. And it was super cool. I don't really know that much about G.I. Joe. It was never something I really got into, but it was always like an overlap interest. So I've always been aware of it. So stumbling upon what looked like a collector had donated like a whole bunch of these figures, was super cool. I wish I'd gotten footage of it. Unfortunately, I didn't, but they had a bunch. I think they were in pretty good, decent condition for how old they were. Like some of them even still had like flocking like on their beards and their hair and stuff. But anyway, let's move on to like what I picked up out of this like lot that I found. So I don't collect G.I. Joe. If I was a little bit more liquid, I might've actually just picked up all of them. Cause I was like, honestly, I could get behind some of these dolls. I love dolls and these are just boy dolls. Um, but I didn't, I refrained, I, I held myself back, I was strong, and I only picked up one G.I. Joe, one G.I. Joe that I knew I would like. So this is a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, and he's really cool looking, that's not focusing. He's just really cool looking. Um, I believe he's complete, he's got like his shoes, he's got his whole little outfit, um, but this, his gimmick, I looked him up, he's like a karate chopping Snake Eyes. So like, if you pull his arm up like that, chops it back down. He's like, wah, wah, eat shit. But I just thought he was really cool. And I was like, you know what? I should have like one nice, like staple GI Joe. And maybe from here I can like build an interest and maybe start collecting more and learn more about some of the other characters. So 
got a little snake eyes. And then, is this is the same realm of figures, but like I said, they weren't just G.I. Joes, but they were the same style of figure. I got two Star Wars ones. I picked up, this is the first, this is one of the ones I picked up, and obviously this is like Luke in his like X-Wing pilot uniform. Like he's got like the little like oh known galaxy thing on his arm here. And I, I thought it was really cool like looking at a couple of these toys is that a lot of them have these little things like that come on their outfits and they're like removable and they're super tiny little pieces of plastic. Very great attention to detail, but my God, no wonder they're like basically all missing. But I just thought he was really fun. He is missing, he obviously, like the, you know, I don't think he came with a helmet, but I do think he had the, like, um, the pack that hangs down on the front. He is missing that, but I just thought the rest of the outfit looked, like, pretty cool. I thought he was cool. And it's, like, a solid Luke with his Chanel boots. Love it. And then I also picked up a Han Solo from the same era, and he is super cool. I I'm definitely a big Hans fan. Um... Not my favorite character in Star Wars. My favorite characters are probably General Grievous and Darth Maul. And I love Obi-Wan, obviously. And then I love uh, Mace Windu and General Plo and Ahsoka and Ventress. I, I like almost everybody from the prequels. But in terms of the original trilogy, I do like Hans. I keep saying Hans. I was doing that in the thrift store too. It's Han. <laughs> oh, Disco, if only somebody loved you. How it goes? I don't remember. But anyway, he's cool. Uh, he has his little, like, holster here. I assume he was supposed to come with a little gun. Um, but I thought it was cool he still had the little holster. It still gives the, like, the look to it. And he just looks really cool. He really looks like a young Harrison Ford. Okay, now. That was really cool. Those are really cool. Let's move on to something that I think is even kind of cooler that definitely didn't get any video. I found, or we found, me and Teddy, we found a, a donated collection of new inbox Barbies. And there was probably, I think there was like, there was like, I think six of them there. And I picked up three of them. Cause I just like, I really, I didn't really need all of them, but I'll show you the ones that I got. So we'll start off with one that's like not, it's like, it, it's, it's Barbie. Like it's Mattel, but like, it's not a Barbie, but it is Elvis. Look how cool that is. Like this is just like, just a plain old like Elvis doll. Just like normal Elvis, his, his guitar is all flipped around. But isn't that just so cool? Like new in box and everything. The box is a little jank, very taped up at the top. But like, he's so cool. And I like Elvis's music. And I got my friend, uh, my friend's also a big like, you know, Elvis fan. Um, and I got her an Elvis doll for, uh, I think Christmas or her birthday last year. And I got kind of jealous cause I was like, oh wait, I kind of want an Elvis doll. That's so like silly and fun. And now I found one. I'll probably, I guess I'll probably take him out. I could display him like this. I'll think about it. And then the other the other dolls, which like I feel like you can probably guess what kind of boxed dolls they are. Because like what kind of box dolls do you always kind of find in mass, like out at flea markets and at thrift stores and vintage stores and stuff like that? Holiday Barbies, of course. So the other two are holiday Barbies. And one of them is deeply special to me. But I'll show you the first one, the one that isn't special to me, but I am very excited to have. And this is the 2001 Holiday Celebration Barbie. Like, look at her. It's hard to get it to focus because she's in the box, but like, look at her. I just thought like she was so cool. Like, I just like the really like kind of classic, like Malibu look to her. Just like the way her hair is pulled back, like so delicately. And just the way the dress looks with the little stars and the sheer bit on the top and the little like Santa scarf she's got going on. Ah, oh, she's so cute and she's so pretty and like looks very like holiday. She's so pretty. Like look at her on the back of the box here. Yeah. And I'm super happy to have her. I'll probably definitely take her out. I'll probably, I have a number of holiday Barbies that I don't actually have displayed um, just cause I haven't had a good shelf to put them on but I really do love holiday Barbies. So like, I'm probably gonna designate an area just for them. Then the last thing I have to show you is something that's incredibly important to me personally. Another holiday doll, but this is the two, the year 2000 celebration Barbie. 
And oh, this, this doll is kind of incredibly important to me. This was probably one of my favorite Barbies growing up. I got this back in the day. I was four years old in the year 2000. I probably got her for that holiday and I loved her. I don't know what it was. I guess it was just the all gold dress and I remember loving her necklace and her crown. Like, she's a really, really beautiful doll. And I remember just sitting there as a little kid and like touching all the little like snowflakes like on her dress and like petting the little fur shoulder pads. I don't know what those are called. And I just like, I just remember loving her so much and I don't know whatever happened to her, but I do know that I still, my, I know I still have this ornament because she came with a little ornament. I, I know my, my, this ornament is still packed away with my like family Christmas ornament somewhere. And <laughs> the way that I actually started crying in the thrift store when I saw her, when Teddy pulled her out, it's kind of ridiculous. Like I'm a grown lady. I got so much cool stuff today. Like, wow, am I so glad I went to the thrift store. I almost didn't because I was so exhausted today. Still am. And I had a great day out with Teddy and I found so much cool stuff. And I've got some really fun new memories to make with an old friend. I'm so happy. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with us and I'll see you next time. Bye.